A new COVID concern over big events in the city. More than a dozen cases are being linked to the Electric Zoo Music Festival over Labor Day weekend. And now there is new concern with another festival kicking off in Little Italy. CBS 2's Thalia Perez has more. Revelers and vendors filled up Mulberry Street quickly as the San Gennaro Festival kicked off. It feels good. It's really nice to just for things to go a little bit back to normal and for us to be outside and kind of celebrating and doing regular New Yorker things. This year, working the festival together, selling Italian pastries, means so much more for Jennifer Acalino and her mom, Nancy Ramesso, who they say became sick with COVID-19 last year, spending 10 weeks in ICU on a ventilator. We're very excited. You know, we lost out last year, but we got to keep the tradition going. Life's got to go on. We got to bring New York back to life, and this is the perfect way to do it. And it's a family tradition that spans decades. My grandfather came over from Italy. He started it back then. He used to do um, Zeppelis. But with renewed concerns about the spread of COVID-19 and crowds, many vendors tell us they've taken extra precautions. I have the, uh, the space between the person standing here and behind there. Uh, and if people are uncomfortable, I put on a mask. The New York City Health Department is investigating 16 cases of COVID-19 that have been linked to the Electric Zoo Music Festival that took place on Randall's Island over Labor Day weekend. And it was an event where attendees were required to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test result. We have sanitizing stations. Uh, all the vendors are wearing um, gloves. Most everybody without a mask has been vaccinated. Everyone agrees they would like to see this festival end on a high note, despite their COVID concerns. So in addition to all the food, all the vendors, you can expect music, the annual cannoli eating contest, which takes place on Friday, and all of the festivities that run through September 26th right here on Mulberry Street. In Little Italy, Thalia Perez, CBS 2 News.